I didn't really know what EML was coming into uh, college. But, you know, I was someone who was always very curious as a kid, really sought to make different connections between my different subject areas, and I also had a desire basically for the big picture. I'm George Valcarcel, and I'm an Integrated Business and Engineering honor student, and I'm dedicated to spreading EML on campus. It's really important for someone, you know, like myself and some of the other peers I'm working with, the students who have really embraced EML, to be a critical voice at the table as we are co-creating with faculty, with researchers, and the administration um, this roadmap for entrepreneur-minded education. Essentially, I like to view myself sort of as an EML consultant from the student side because everyone's coming into this process with varying levels of knowledge about the entrepreneurial mindset and, and this whole design thinking uh, concept. And, and that's okay, you know, I try to help everyone you know, understand the power because a lot of people on this project, they are still trying to be convinced that this is really the, the path forward. One of my big goals on campus is to really expand curriculum within the entrepreneurial minded space. And I think that it starts with faculty. And I highly suggest, you know, to faculty at Ohio State and at universities across the country for you to try being a little bit more open minded and understanding the power of pairing, you know, the very technical problem solving skills that, that you are training us on with this uh, comfort with giving students more open-ended situations. It's definitely apparent to me that a lot of times engineers are very focused on just the technical side. And that's kind of what we've been trained in. That's why a lot of people are drawn to engineering is to create the most, you know, very cool technical gadget, you know, but a lot of times they lose sight of what is the market opportunity that they're addressing, who is the customer and the user that they're ultimately serving. And finally, you know, there's also regulatory, policy, legal implications, you know, even bringing up like intellectual property and also environmental sustainability. You know, I can go on and on about the things that engineers ought to be more aware of when they're stepping into this profession. And I think that engineers who are able to grasp not only the strong technical skills, but understanding the broader environment or the ecosystem they're working in, that's gonna help them be more successful in their careers as well.